So I am back on the Buckham and Full Martin Way and today I have some company. Um, so we started, or I've already started, um, at the Chinwag Cafe back in Newmarket. So that's where I left off last time. And I've already had myself a hot chocolate from there, um, which is excellent. Um, today we plan to walk all the way to Ellen, um, which is 10 miles and get the bus back from there. So yeah, come with us. Last time I was here, um, if you saw my last video, you know that it was constantly lashing it down with rain and I barely saw anybody on the trail all day. We've already seen so many people, it's a really busy route full of runners and walkers and dog walkers. Um, so it's a very different day today. So we've just had to come off the path just past Newmacker because it looks like they're doing work to the Fort Martin and Bucking Way and I have no idea when we'll be able to get off the road and get back onto the path. Um, I hope it's not too far. Okay, we're around the path closure, but it felt a bit silly. Like, we, there's no kind of warn, well, I mean, there's a warning on the Aberdeenshire Council website, but I mean, there's no warning when you're on the path that there's like an upcoming closure. And then there's no like suggestion of alternative routes. So we just walked along a farmer's field until we could like clamber down the bank back onto the path. Um, but like, we've just seen a guy cycle past us up to the closure and had to have to carry his bike up this like really steep bank. So it just feels a bit silly that there's no sort of like warning or alternative. Um, yeah, but we're back on the path now and from what I can see on the website, there's no further closures that so we should be fine. Be able to hear them but there's been loads of skylarks singing um they're the first skylarks i've heard this year and it's really lovely and i saw my first snowdrops yesterday in crookshank botanical gardens so even though it's still only the end of january it's kind of starting to feel hopeful for spring which i'm excited for normally like that well i love winter and normally this sort of dark doesn't really bother me but this year I'm really struggling with like the the dark mornings and the dark nights so I'm looking forward to having a little bit more light back it to Arden station where the old train platforms are really clear and easy to see um, and now we've got five more miles to make it to Ellen which is our final stop
the Buckingham Four Martin Way is a public footpath that's on an old railway line. So originally the railway line went from um, Dice in Aberdeen up to um, Fraserburgh and Peterhead. It split at one point uh, and it ran from the sort of late 1800s to the 1970s. So it shut to the public passengers in the 60s and then shut to cargo in the 70s. Uh, and then a couple of decades later in the 90s, it was reopened as this public footpath. Um, so eventually, I'm kind of hoping to walk all of it. Um, but yeah, this is just the second stage today. on the outskirts of Ellen. So that ended quite quickly, the last little bit. Um, I think we're gonna to walk to the, there's a railway bridge and there's also something marked on the map in Ellen called Station. <laughs> so we're just gonna to walk to that and see what it is. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think I have, if I'm totally honest, found the stretch between Newmack and Ellen a bit boring. <laughs> like it's, it's absolutely fine, it's like, safe, easy place to walk or run. Um, it's, you know, interesting being on a train line and I always quite enjoy just sort of clearing the fog of war that's on a map. I just like to be nosy and see what's in a place. But um, yeah, a bit boring. I don't know. And I, I was kind of warned or had been told that parts of the Buckingham Four Martin Way could be quite boring. But you don't know until you try, do you? And I'm still pretty keen to walk the other parts um, to make my own mind up. Um, but hopefully it's still been an interesting video and you've enjoyed it. And I've still got a little way to take you. I'm going to end the video there so we can run and catch our bus back to Aberdeen. But thank you so much for joining me and I will see you next time.